let's now talk about the uh, inspection of the synthetic round slit. So here you start with uh, the tag, make sure it's there and legible. And we'll stretch your way around. With these, you really want to feel, in case it was ever overloaded, you'll actually feel a spot that's bunched up and then a void pretty close next to it. So here we're just looking for uh, any kind of cuts or holes in the outer sleeving that expose any of the core yarn, which is uh, quite easy to see once we find a hole and be able to show you. Okay, so let's talk about why we would pull a synthetic round sling out of service. Again, we start with the tag. Uh, this sling has obviously seen some service time. Uh, you can see it's almost completely gone. There's nothing on the tag. What's on there is legible. Um, so again, right there, we would tag this out depending on the size of the sling. Uh, you can send it in for repair. You know. Um, so we're going to run our hands down through the sling, looking for any bunching in case it was ever overloaded. And as we're going through, uh, you can see here that it's already been sent in once and they patched it and repaired it. Uh, going through the sling. Here's a little bit of abrasion, a cut, but I don't see any core yarn. Keep going. So here's a, a cut in the sling. If it was just the core yarn that was exposed, it could be sent in for repair. But as you look further, it looks like the core yarn was cut as well, which is an automatic scrapped item. You want to remove from service immediately. And once the core yarn's been cut, you can't repair it.